Every day we walk past buildings whose purpose is kept secret from the world. Government facilities where mysterious projects are organized. Laboratories where strange and fascinating experiments take place. Corporate headquarters where amazing new products are created. These intriguing and secretive places are found in every corner of the world. So let's take a look at some of them in our list of the seven most mysterious buildings. In at seven, the tomb. The Skull and Bones is a secret society of Yale University undergraduates with famous alumni including politicians, lawmakers, members of the Rockefeller family, and three former U.S. presidents including George W. Bush. The organization's headquarters, known as The Tomb, are thought to contain some astonishing and shocking artifacts such as stolen coffins where sex acts take place, a set of Hitler's silverware, and the skulls of several famous historical figures. Frat parties at the tomb sound pretty badass. George W. Bush's grandfather, Prescott Bush, was directly accused of stealing the skull of Geronimo, one of the most famous Native American leaders in history. And it is believed that this resides somewhere within the tomb, alongside the skulls of former U.S. President Martin Van Buren and Mexican revolutionary Pancho Villa. The names of those who belong to the skull and bones are no longer disclosed and this secrecy combined with the prominence of many of its former members has led some to believe that this society controls many of our major organizations, including the CIA, the Federal Reserve, and huge swaths of the government. But right now, all I want to know is what kind of forks did Hitler own? I really hope it's the ones with the bubbles in the handle. They are just delightful. At 6, Hangar 18. Hangar 18 at the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio, is a major source of conspiracy theories regarding alien spacecraft. But the only thing we know for certain about this mysterious building is that inside, some form of aviation technology research is taking place, and it's something the military does not want the world to know about. Whether you think this research is based on extraterrestrial technology or just super-secret stealth projects cooked up by regular old human beings depends on how much you buy into alien conspiracy theories and how much weed you've had. But one of the most famous projects to have been conducted at Wright-Patterson was Project Blue Book, a government study into the existence of UFOs which took place in the 1950s. Most of its findings were released to the public, but there remains a strong possibility that some of its top secret discoveries remain stored at Wright-Patterson's mysterious Hangar 18. In at 5, LEGO's Secret HQ. Because some of the entries on this list are a little heavy, we're going to lighten things up just briefly with a look at LEGO's design headquarters in Bielund, Denmark. Whereas the main LEGO HQ is located in a huge building with a giant LEGO brick planted out front, their secretive design headquarters is actually based in a nearby two-story office block with no apparent signage or branding. Inside this building, a small room of operations is located where only a chosen few of LEGO's 3,000 local employees have ever set foot. The designers who are allowed access here are forced to sign confidentiality agreements and are not even allowed to tell their families of the mysterious new developments taking place in the LEGO HQ. The room is stocked full of prototypes and cutting-edge brick research and is protected by 24-7 surveillance and a 30-minute security clearing process. For many years, even the existence of this room was kept secret, so who knows what LEGO-based horrors take place here every day. But if I was to guess, probably a LEGO brick that splits your spinal cord when you step on it. At 4, the Yu Gung Hotel. Pyongyang, North Korea, 1987. Construction begins on the Yu Gung Hotel, a project intended to show the world just how powerful and glorious the North Korean regime was. Cut to 2016, and the hotel is still not finished nearly 30 years later, making it the Half-Life 3 of construction projects. Originally conceived by Kim Il-sung, grandfather of current leader Kim Jong-un, work on the hotel has been abandoned on many occasions due to several economic crises afflicting North Korea's secretive government. Openings were announced in both 2012 and 2013, but later cancelled, 
and nobody knows if or when this building will be completed. Only a select few have been allowed inside the hotel to see its current state, and the handful of photographs we do have of its interior show very little of its intended final design. But maybe the answers are located in our next entry. Number 3. Bureau 39 Bureau 39 is another North Korean secret location, but this time, we have no confirmed pictures of the building. Because this is the site of some extremely shady goings-on. Bureau 39 is reportedly where Kim Jong-un's Korean Workers' Party orchestrates and executes various illegal activities which take place across the globe. And the CIA estimate that the operations conducted within this one building are responsible for counterfeit U.S. currency production, illegal weapons sales, narcotic production and distribution, and an international insurance fraud scheme, all of which rake in between $500 million and $1 billion per year. Bureau 39 has been run since the days of Kim Il-sung in the 1970s, and the only things known about the building's location is that it is within a workers' party compound, it is heavily guarded, and that it is relatively close to Kim Jong-un's own private residence. But I could have told you that last one, though. The guy does not look like someone who benefits from a long walk to work. Number 2. Suuk Islet It's three in a row for North Korea. As in 2015, this ominously designed building was opened. The North Korean Science and Technology Complex, known as Suuk Islet. See how it's shaped like a giant atom? Like something a supervillain would do to his super-secret volcano base. That can't be good. That can't be good at all. Construction began in 2014, but Kim Jong-un wanted it built quicker than that. Now, because life isn't a mobile game, you can't just click some giant shovel icon to speed things up. Kim Jong-un instead drafted hundreds of people from the Korean People's Army and managed to finish the complex within a single year. The complex reportedly contains a virtual science laboratory and an earthquake experience room and is apparently powered almost entirely by natural energies such as solar, wind, and pure North Korean bullshit. With this building, it seems North Korea is once more reaffirming its desire to antagonize the world. And whatever secret projects are being undertaken in here, you can bet your butt they're not something your hippie uncle would approve of. In at number one, Vahal Cross. Built in 1994, Vahal Cross is one of London's most iconic buildings. And as well as being the place James Bond gets a paycheck, it is also the real-life home of Britain's SIS and MI6 intelligence services. Despite many pictures existing of Vahal Cross, it is actually illegal to photograph it in person. And trying to do so? We'll see you on the receiving end of a wallop from a kappa cool blimey governor. Many strange things are known to have happened to this building. It was attacked in 2000 by unknown assailants using a Russian-made anti-tank rocket. One of its employees was found dead in a duffel bag in 2010, and in 2013, a mysterious nearby helicopter crash set the whole building on red alert. But most intriguing are the clandestine operations orchestrated from within this famous hub of international espionage. Over the years, the employees working inside Vahal Cross have been accused of arranging the murder of a former Republic of Congo Prime Minister, setting up extreme neo-Nazi groups as bait for far-right extremists, organizing the accident which killed Princess Diana, and even funding Al-Qaeda. But according to former MI6 agent and Vahal Cross employee David Shaler, money was forwarded towards Al-Qaeda in the early years from this very building, reportedly as payment for a plot to assassinate Colonel Gaddafi in 1997. Really? Britain? Funding terrorists to take out world leaders? That's America's job. Don't you forget it. So I guess the rule on not taking pictures kind of makes sense now that you know what shenanigans are going on inside here. But if you're the kind of maverick rule breaker who likes to tell the law to go make love to itself, then you might like our recent video on 7 secret places you're not allowed to visit. 